Weaponized toys seem to be a very common thing in Fallout. Whether it be BB guns, toy knives, or foam mallets, the wasteland of the 23rd century has a wide selection if you want to goof around with your enemies. But rather than copy the people who have inspired me, even more than my pathetic existence already has, let's instead add something new to the mix. Like, uh, maybe one of these? Yeah, that's a work. So, thanks to Nexus mod user Scouter408, I can use a Nerf gun, more specifically the Nerf Zombie Strike Double Strike, mouthful, and New Vegas. Why do I torture myself like this? Well, it could be worse. The ammo required could have a rare resource to craft it. Please watch the video. We start off the run by having some vision problems, totally not caused by my last upload. Please watch it and give me validation. I call myself Nerf McNothing, and we get to assigning our special stats. 1 Strength, 5 Perception, 10 Endurance, 1 Charisma, 5 Intelligence, 8 Agility, and 10 Luck. That's right baby, it's a luck build. I pick Guns, Repair, and Survival for my tag skills, and pick Built to Destroy and Skill for my traits. After exiting Doc Mitchells, I make sure to look around for pre-war money, as you can craft the gun for only 5 of them. And after turning over every cash register and table, buying a lot of planking rounds, and stealing a silence pistol, we get ourselves a brand new toy to play with. Literally. With this newfound source of power, I kill Joe Cobb, talk to Ringo, and fight the Powder Gangers. As expected, the gun is really weak. However, its critical damage is where it truly shines, so it's probably a really good idea for us to get critical boosting perks and equipment as soon as humanly possible. The way to the Bison Steve is as uneventful as usual, just shooting powder gangers, geckos and escaped convicts, but because of this my ammo supply was running real short. But luckily Johnson Nash came in clutch with another box of planking rounds. Bison Steve itself is about what you expected, turning low level enemies into jam with the power of nerf darts does get funnier each time it happens, but other than that I turn Primslim into a sheriff, head to the outpost to help Jackson, kill some ants, and wait why am I in Black Moon? Oh god damn it Buck you stupid mother- I kill Tabitha to get Crazy Cube done, get some ammo from the Gunrunners and Mr. Holdout, head all the way to Novak to kill Genie Mae for a hat, and head to Boulder City to kill Jessup for a lighter. And, with a lighter and cigarette combined, not only do I get lung cancer, but also have permission from Swank to... I lost the footage of shooting Benny in the face. Well, at least I have the footage of killing House. Uh, sorry guys. But, with my increase in levels giving me Radchild, I head up to the top of Black Mountain to absorb some deadly rads into my bloodstream, buy some more ammo, and head on over to the Northern Passage to get an upgrade in the form of Joshua's armor. And I've decided that I want to die. Wow, that was a totally enjoyable experience. But now that we have Joshy Boy's armor, it's about time we get on with the rest of the game. And since we're siding with the NCR this go around, I actually know what we have to do. First on the list is killing Pacer, since he's just standing right there. Then we head for the artillery barrage to help the boomers by styling on Argyle, listening real good, and harnessing the power of the sun. I then head over to Red Rock to sneak kill every great can I could see, went to Hidden Valley to get a collar around my neck and shoot Dobson in the face, and kill the Brotherhood I didn't record- oh no. Oh god, I didn't record- I didn't record the Brotherhood dying. I mean, at least I got the end of it, right? I'm, I'm not on my- I'm not on my game. Since I had to cure some rats to get a tiny bit of sneak for the keycards, I head back to Black Mountain Centaur Pit to get my rads up, shoot Big Sal in the face because he's the only one you have to kill, and cash in all of my quests for the NCR before I go and protect the president. The quest kinda bugged out for a bit, since Grant wouldn't do anything when I told him about the Legion sniper, and heading down to where he was standing revealed that the Legion assassin was just kinda chilling with his knife out. Luckily, after restarting the game, everything fixed itself and we could get onto the final battle. First attempt at Lanius ended because I got overwhelmed by legionaries, tried to get the high ground and got my shit rocked. Second attempt I cleared out the legionaries around the camp, spent way too long trying to kill these mongrels, and died again. 
third attempt, I managed to finagle my way on top of the Legate's camp and started shooting down at him. Besides the amount of grenades, it was going pretty well. But I tried to get to lower ground so their pathfinding would work, but like the previous two attempts, I ended up dying. Well, if I can't deal with the infinitely spawning legionnaires, what can I do? Well, what I'm about to do does count as failing the run, but also doesn't? Let me explain. Remember the Abu Hotkey glitch I used at the start of this run to get it, well, working in the first place? Well, if you equip an ammo type that drastically changes how the projectiles work, you can alter the bullet that comes out of the gun. So, for example, if I equip a variant of the Fat Man's Mini Nook, you can see where I'm going with this. Right, so since I haven't cleared out the Atomic Wrangler, the Tops, and the Ultralux, that gives me access to 30,000 caps, and since I'd rather not waste my time staring at a blackjack table, I decided to cheat myself the Gunrunner's Arsenal Fat Man. I hope you can all respect the fact that I'd rather not spend more time on this game than I have to. Besides, the run is basically bust. So, after redoing that whole thing, let's see how the silly plan works out. I am become Hasbro, the nerfer of nothings. Well, after that, I talked to General Oliver and finished the run. So, can you be fought in New Vegas with a nerf gun? Well, yeah, but in my case, no. Did I technically abide by the rules and only use a nerf gun? Yes, but did I use a nuke in the process? Also yes. But that doesn't really matter. All that matters is that this gun was really fun to use, but it's a shame that the ammo requires a not-so-steady crafting material, you know? But, that's it for the run. Uh, give the video a like and a comment if you enjoyed it, and feel free to recommend challenges in the comments. I may or may not do them in the future, depending on how my mental health goes. But, that's all for now. My name is Buck Taylor, and I'm actually a sheep. <laughs>